Now, most airliners have an equivalent cargo version. For example, the Airbus A330 has the Airbus A330F. You know, all you need to do to make a cargo version of an airliner is empty out the cabin space and put like uh, these panels here and the floor where you put cargo on and also put a big door where cargo is put into the aircraft. The same thing goes along for, for example, the Airbus A320. Something that is really nice about this relatively easy procedure is that you can convert an old passenger plane to a freighter plane. Even the small CRJ200 has an F variant of it. Because in most planes, it's easy enough to do that. Well, and so the question arises, why did they never do this on one single airplane? And that is the Airbus A380. I mean, this plane has so, so much space and you could fit so, so many things in this. Lots of leboo-boos coming over from Team U. Why does it seem sort of impossible to pull off? this project. I mean, it would be able to carry much more many things than the 747 freighters, for example. To answer that, I decided to, you know, make a bit of a prototype myself in the flight simulator. How hard would this be? Well, as it turns out, uh, very very hard. See, what I've done here now is when we go inside of the airplane is stripped out the cabin. Yeah, there's a lot of cabin space in this plane. After all, it is a huge double-decker plane, so this thing sort of seems like a less ugly version of planes like the Dreamlifter, which are planes made to carry large things like airplane parts. But that becomes a very big trouble if we talk about how you want things to be loaded in. How do you do that? I mean, after all, this is a double-decker airplane, but the cockpit is placed in a very bad position. Whereas, for example, the 7478 has no trouble opening this nose right here, and there you can fit cargo through the front because the cockpit is all the way up here in the second deck. We very much struggle to do the same here with the A380 because the cockpit is literally in the way. There would be no way to do such a thing on this plane. If we look at the Beluga plane, for example, as well, in order to fit things in this plane that actually fill it out, it has to be somehow able to open the entire fuselage, as we can see right here. But everybody, we have a little bit of hope when we look at the Boeing Dreamlifter, because they have the same problem. How are we going to fit large things into this? Well, it's by incorporating one of the craziest ideas in the world. Create an entire swing tail design where the entire tail section opens up on a hinge to load stuff in. And you know what? I thought this could be maybe possible on the A380 and probably like the only feasible way to do this. And this is probably like one of the first reasons why the A380F will never become a thing. This is a structural nightmare always, an engineering nightmare. I have a slider right here on my joystick with which I can open the door. I haven't done this very realistically, but this could work. See, we ha now have a swing tail design as well, and we can load up a lot of stuff. And I reckon it gets really fun flying this plane when it's empty. So let's go ahead and have a little bit of a flight now that we've closed the door. The cockpit is obviously very much the same, very modern. Well, here in the flight sim, this model isn't very good, but that doesn't matter. Look at our performance. This thing can take off anywhere now because we don't have the weight of the heavy cabin. Look at that. And yeah, the cabin is of course, two stories. And we could get rid of the entire second floor, which is really appreciated. And so now we are flying nicely with our Airbus A380 cargo. But now that I'm flying this plane, I kind of already start to realize why Airbus never actually went through with the Airbus A380F, because it's simply too large. It's nearly as large as the Dreamlifter after all. And there's a reason this thing doesn't fly around for FedEx, but rather for Boeing. Once again, these planes are made to transport around airplane parts that are just too big. But I seriously wonder with this kind of cargo space, what could you even fit? Like what, what would you need this kind of space for? And that is the big problem. You would think maybe a big car you'd want to transport, but a car even fits into a passenger A330, for example. You would say, okay, maybe we can turn this into a container ship airplane, where you would put in a lot of maritime containers into the Airbus A380. But do we know how much containers, like just as a shell weigh? This is impossible. Yes, the problem with a large volume transport airplane like this would definitely be that you run out of carryable load first before you run out of volume, which is very unlike most cargo airplanes. I don't know if I'm getting the point across very well. Anyway, this plane flies very fun now that it's empty. Look, I mean, taking off from St. Catalina Island, um, 
with an empty configuration. See, our airplane is very empty now. I just like doing that. Not bad. All right, let's go take off now. Full power. No problem for the Airbus A380. F, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking good. Looking great. As you can tell, we are able to take off from a thousand meter long runway. So... That's good knowledge of a plane that will probably never exist. Because, like, when you start loading stuff into this airplane, it becomes a bit of a problem. Because weight is a problem in this plane. Well, the huge size of this thing doesn't really have a lot of advantages, to be honest. Because, like, once again, what do you fit in this? And, oh, yeah, we can... We can do this, by the way. In this plane, we can't carry, you know, a lot more than a 747. You know what I mean? Uh, so this is what, I mean, if I were FedEx, I would never opt for an Airbus A380F. That is definitely the case. Either way, maybe it's time to find out what, I mean, what would I try? I mean, I can only think of aircraft parts and stuff because aircraft parts are always meant to be light because they have to fly at some point. But like huge machinery, industry stuff, definitely not. Also, this plane would be like too big to carry around big wind turbines or anything. This is absolutely dumb and useless of an idea. And sometimes it helps to make a simulator model to realize that. I, I mean, I mean, sure, you could maybe fit stuff like a jumbo double decker bus that we've done right here. Something like the Neoplan Jumbo Cruiser. But a bus like this weighs like 30 tons which honestly when i think about it isn't a lot it's not that bad uh we can carry hundreds of stuff tons of stuff so maybe this isn't that bad but like yeah i don't think fedex has the use case for the, this kind of plane because how many buses do you transport a day really you know this seems like a very niche airplane Maybe I'm just completely wrong here as well. This is just my opinion. I didn't even know how to turn this plane on. You know, overall, we can say that this plane would be incredibly hard to build. So hard that you couldn't, you know, convert any old scrapped Airbus A380 into an A380F. Because, like, this is probably, like, the, just a structural... This is not possible, I think. Also, it's probably too large and cannot carry much weight after all. It's meant for human cargo, which is a lot less dense than transport cargo, you know. There's a lot of things that I haven't thought of here. Uh, let's maybe see. I mean, we can definitely take off with a bus in our back. It's definitely too large to fit any, you know, normal aircraft cargo type container stuff that you end up loading in your plane, right? You could maybe do like two decks of it. Well, this is one of the main reasons why the Airbus A380F didn't come out. The A380 was built as a passenger plane that is a really bad cargo plane. Whereas the 747 was built as a cargo plane, by the way, it was developed as such, which turned out to do passengers really well too. This is all completely hopeless. Let's maybe see if we can land this uh, very bad modeled airplane. Let's put the speed brake out. We could also just put the hinge out. Um, let's land it. Why does this plane have, why does this plane have Boeing call outs? It's a bit broken. Oh my god. Oh, that was genuinely hard. I landed it from outside view. Didn't work very well. So yes, um, while well, the A380F could, would definitely be the longest range cargo airplane, as it can fly a lot longer than the 747, this is all um, not not that good. Um, so everybody, what do you think about this? Thank you very much for watching this video about the Airbus A380F, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.